they do with the artists is easy. They send the stylist at them first. Yeah, yeah. And if the stylist is like, if the stylist report back and be like, oh, he ready, then they invite you to the party. And that's when they be like, yo, look, you go in here, it's going to be some, you know what I mean? It's a, it's a nigga at the door. Okay, he lost $50 million. No, no, that's not even close to what happened to this dude. And until you understand what happened to the dude, you don't understand what happened. Like, no, not they offered him 50 million and he turned it down who gonna turn down 50 million now i've had to turn down 50 million dollars four times four times just to protect my integrity and that virgin hole i was telling you about <laughs> right uh because p diddy be wanting to party and you gotta tell him no you got to tell him no i, I did I did. See, I got the receipts for everything I'm telling you. That's why I can say I'm so free. Come on. Because early on, you was accusing me of being. Can't. Man. Can't. Yeah, it's crazy. And they would kill me if they could. Who they rock with and they don't with who they don't. But I'm not scared of being the competition any more than you were when you lined up uh, uh, across from a superior team. Yeah, on paper, they're a better team. Right. They have all the assets and resources and we don't. But let us get on the line, boy, boy, and see if that factors in. I, I guarantee you it won't. Wow. The answer is the liar knows what lie he told. You see what I'm saying? So even if I made it deceitful and I made you think that the answer is over here, but the answer is really over here, I'm still gonna be looking over here. Me, the one that tricked, cause I know this is the right answer. The flavor flavor roast, the moment that I knew the Snoop Dogg is sold out. That was a hurtful moment. I was always grateful to Snoop for taking corrupt under his wing. Ricky was in a lot of trouble in Philly. If he hadn't signed a dog pan, I don't even know if he would have been alive. They wanted Cat to humiliate Flav, like humiliate him, like no holes barred. And they sent a bunch of coon jokes. And I'll never forget watching Cat in the office downstairs at the house of Marina Del Rey. And he's sitting there looking at the fucking script and just shaking his head. And then the next thing you know, the phone rang and I'm standing there in the office in the doorway and I'm like, are you all right? And he picked up the phone and it was the fucking CEO of fucking Comedy Central. And I listened to him threaten to kill him. So the matter is, we watched this nigga get murdered right in front of our own motherfucking face. And the nigga knew it was finna happen. He told us and we didn't know. Nigga named his last tour. This is it. This is it. White people, let me just tell you a little nigga secret if I could. <laughs> Niggas have never said this is it in a celebratory fashion. Let me just say, white people do it all the time. This is it. Not niggas. Every time we say it, we say it like this. You, you know what, nigga, this is it. This is it. I mean, this is really it. This is the final. This is the final curtain call. The minute asked him, was he going to be there? And he said no. And then the next thing you know, Production went on later on that day and Snoop was already ready and Snoop did everything that Comedy Central asked. That Flavor Flav roast, that was his moment. I don't even know if Flav even has ever thanked Cat because he put it all in line for his respect. Snoop just slid right in. He said, you, I'm not doing this. You are not going to get a black man, a real black man, to agree to do this to another black man for Jewish dollars. It was a terrible day. And then that's when all the incidents started happening. Them sending people to the house, them putting plants backstage at the shows. I mean, I was on tour with him for American Hustle. And he liked it, and I didn't show up. We always knew. I've been telling y'all, that whole bad boy count was some, some weird gay motherfuckers. Y'all just didn't want to listen and believe it. Y'all listen to Biggie lyrics. Biggie been telling y'all, how he been in his lyrics. I showed y'all a picture with him and a little 13 year old girl sitting on his lap, smoking marijuana, talking about they used to have to wipe their feet on death row t-shirts or something like that before they walked in a house and stuff like that. Yeah, I got little C's and, 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 and our girl, Lil' Kim, talking about 
how they used to do the butterfly dance, how they used to get naked in front of each other and be dancing and shit. I've been telling y'all, so she'll know that they wear and wear those, so he ain't gonna beat up on them too much. That's your float, that's what floats your boat, that's what, that's how it goes. It's God's side and the other side, and we don't care nothing about the other side, period, period. All of these uh, big dick deviants is all catching hell in 2024. It's up for all of them. It don't matter if you Diddy or whoever you is, T.G. Jakes, any of them, the, all, every, all lies will be exposed. That's all. And, and, and anyone who takes that the wrong way, know why they take it the wrong way. The truth is the light. And they have no one of these. Amen, yet. amen. Gee. <laughs> because the people want to know, well, why would he get blackballed? Yeah, oh, because I was because, that. because in 30 years, I've done nothing but collect information, knowledge, and your secrets. So if you and a man was in a corner doing something you wasn't supposed to be doing. You would tell it. No, somebody come to tell me. I gather that. I value that. I'll pay for that. Come, tell me. I know so many things I shouldn't know, and they all know it. You can answer the phone? <laughs> I don't hear none of them who was at Diddy's shit toasting with that champagne every year. Having speeches with me. Ain't nobody speak up for this man or nothing. Image yourself after the gay painter. Okay. Big homie want to look like a gay painter. What are we talking about here? We're talking about Basi. He wants to look like a gay painter. The 50 Cent remarks add to the ongoing conflict's public intrigue and curiosity around Jay-Z's talent and Diddy for summoning and agitating the pot. Observation of the striking silence amid Diddy's legal issues, from Jay-Z beneath the scores, the revolving coalitions, and uncertainty in entertainment 50 Cent industry recommendation that Jay-Z may be hiding something more, suggesting at possibly more complex legal problems that drive more conjecture regarding the nature and degree of Jay-Z's participation or awareness of Diddy's purported actions. Hey, you what, puppy? Your life is in danger. You know the secrets. Who's involved in that little secret room you guys participate in? A comical yet poignant questioning of Jay-Z's absence and lack of public support for Diddy during a time of crisis is raised by the image of Jay-Z on a milk box that 50 Cent shared. This type of trolling is typical of 50 Cent's online persona. Persona not only keeps the conversation going, but also emphasizes how friends are sometimes seen to desert you when problems emerge, which is indicative of the erratic nature of celebrity friendships and alliances. The investigation by 50 Cent raises concerns about Jay-Z and Diddy's relationship and what the developing legal issues may mean for their respective futures. Jay-Z's silence, in contrast to celebrities like 50 Cent's outspoken inquisitiveness and skepticism, paints a picture of an industry full of untold stories, unresolved conflicts, and hidden alliances. Disintegrated. 50 Cent's social media presence keeps drawing attention to Jay-Z's apparent lack of support and growing estrangement from Diddy in the face of his legal issues. His posts, which are characteristically humorous and provocative, highlight the sharp contrast between Diddy and Jay-Z's former friendship and their current state of isolation. Excellence draws attention to the significant shifts in interpersonal connections and coalitions within the sector. Selens highlights the profound shifts in interpersonal connections and coalitions within the sector. The story of abandonment is enhanced by Boo's observation of Diddy's friend's silence, which raises the possibility of a larger trend of airweather friendships in the face of hardship. A degree of intrigue and suspicion about what those tapes might contain, the purported seizure of evidence from Diddy's homes, including hidden camera recordings, is introduced by 50 Cent's conjectural remarks regarding the reason for this silence, namely that friends are cautious because of Diddy's extensive surveillance and recording, brings a concrete aspect to the hearsay and conjecture on the scope and character of the purported illicit undertakings within Diddy's circle, encompassing notable personalities from the entertainment sector. The continuous debate sparked by 50 Cent's posts and the wider media attention illustrates the intricate network of allegiances, secrets, and relationships in the music business, emphasizing how easily alliances may change and how public personalities can hide more sinister, oftentimes darker, truths. His interest in making public pronouncements is framed in the context of long-standing industry rivalry and personal grudges, as evidenced by the 50 cents of continued discussion on Diddy's condition and his previous battles with Jay-Z complaints. His his urgency to get the tapes that Diddy is said to possess, which may contain embarrassing footage of different celebrities, 
indicates a deeper level of interest and possibly some concern about the possible repercussions from Diddy's legal issues. Issues. The idea that Diddy's friends, Jay-Z among them, are pulling away from each other because they feel betrayed by being surreptitiously filmed raises the possibility of a breakdown in mutual trust and support. This, this situation fits well with the saying that there is no honor among thieves, suggesting that the relationships in this group were always shaky and motivated by self-interest, selfish. The reason for 50 Cent's attention to Jay-Z stems from their past rivalry in the music business, where relationships and competitions between well-known musicians like 50 Cent over time, Jay-Z and Diddy have changed by 50 Cent's. A perceived ego and lack of innovation are highlighted in Public Public's jabs at Jay-Z, which show the competitive spirit and complex dynamics that frequently underpin relationships in the entertainment industry. These, these developments highlight a larger story of ambition, rivalry, and secrecy that characterizes a large portion of the behind-the-scenes drama inside the business surrounding Diddy's legal problem. As the plot develops, bringing these aspects into the public eye, the intersections of rivalry in the workplace, personal history, and legal danger make for an engrossing story that appeals to both insiders and fans. Relationships between 50 Cent's Diddy and Jay-Z reveal a convoluted network of connections, rivalries, and common pasts. Even though 50 Cent's hatred for Jay-Z is widely known in the music business, the public has been curious about and speculating about Jay-Z and Diddy's long-standing connection, particularly in light of recent developments. Diddy's public expressions of love and admiration for Jay-Z, such as his high-profile mentions and tributes, highlight their close relationship. However, Jay-Z's apparent change in demeanor after Diddy's legal issues and controversies, especially after Cassie's lawsuit, has drawn criticism. Jay-Z's decision to back out of the Rock Nation party and his lack of attendance at public events where he and Diddy were typically spotted together raised. Spotted together raised questions about his desire to put his legal and PR troubles behind him. This seeming distance aligns with recommendations from celebrities, such as 50 Cent and Jay-Z, who both advocate for Jay-Z to keep up a more polished public persona. Fans and industry observers alike continue to be captivated and provoked by the narrative that Jay-Z has darker secrets, but somehow manages to navigate the industry more discreetly than Diddy. This story presents a picture of a shrewd operator aware of the stakes and the necessity of maintaining a controlled public image as the situation develops. Jaguar contributes to the growing conversation about hidden dynamics by accusing Jay-Z of being involved with R. Kelly and exposing a supposedly troubled past. The interaction of public perception, past experiences, and possible legal issues never fails to captivate and spark conversation among industry watchers and fans alike. Jaguar contributes to the developing conversation about the hidden dynamics by writing accusations against Jay-Z, tying him to R. Kelly, and exposing a supposedly troubled past. Her allegations point to a pattern of dubious ties and choices made by Jay-Z in the music industry, especially in light of his affiliations with Aaliyah and R. Kelly, which have sparked debate and rumors. Dame Dash is talking about how she felt deceived by Jay-Z's pursuit of Aaliyah and the complex issues surrounding R. Kelly, which depict intricate entanglements between personal and professional life. Jay-Z's association with R. Kelly, in spite of the public's knowledge of Kelly's concerning conduct, calls into question his discernment and the moral implications of such collaborations. R. Kelly provides support for Diddy. A contentious individual himself adds to the complexity. The story. The public's inability to disentangle the artists from their purported activities was evident in Kelly's defense of Diddy's notion that the system was conspiratorially targeting them. Her comments were greeted with mockery and mistrust. Jay-Z's quiet during these events, in contrast to R. Kelly's outspoken support from behind bars, adds to the mystery surrounding both his position and his connection with Diddy. This instance highlights the complex and frequently incongruous nature of his curiosity about the recording that was taken from Diddy's house implies that he thought it might have evidence linking Jay-Z and other musicians to illegal actions. The complex and frequently acrimonious relationships are highlighted by the use of social media to draw attention to their lack of communication and presence during Diddy's legal issues. Within the music industry, his curiosity over the tape that was taken from Diddy's house points to a possible suspicion that it has evidence that could link Jay-Z and other people to illegal activity. The story takes a dramatic turn when Jaguar Wright claims that Diddy has tapes of Jay-Z and Beyonce. This suggests that these influential figures in the industry were complicit and may have shared secrets. 
These allegations have some validity because of Diddy's past close relationships with Jay-Z and Beyonce, at least in the eyes of the general public. The suggestion that Diddy would use accumulated video as leverage fits nicely with the larger topic of power struggles and manipulation in the entertainment industry. His purported remarks about using his connections with celebrities like T.D. Jake to boost his public image serve as more evidence of the calculated and occasionally desperate actions taken by those in the public eye to harm Ethiopia. According to Haba Mariam, the investigation's reach and possible consequences might go far beyond Diddy and affect a larger network of prominent figures in the business. According to reports, several people are helping the authorities. The legal complaint's inclusion of prominent executives, including the former M-Town Records CEO Ethiopia Haba Mariam, said that a wider network of business leaders may be impacted by the investigation's breadth and possible consequences, which go far beyond Diddy. This scenario that is developing gives insight into the entertainment sector. Public personalities frequently conceal intricate internal realities that are rife with covert intentions, calculated alliances, and a delicate balance of power and reputation. Serious accusations have been made against Diddy and his sons, linking them to drug-related and underage-related crimes. Ethiopian HTO Mariam's assertive actions to publicly and legally distance herself from Diddy, and this scenario, in which people connected to or implicated in Diddy start cooperating with the police or making denials, illustrates the mounting pressure and potential legal ramifications surrounding the case. With the exception of a formal event, Daddy's houses demonstrate how seriously she is taking the accusations and how desperate she is to clear her name. This situation illustrates the mounting, the mounting pressure and legal concerns surrounding the case, as those connected to or implicated in Diddy are starting to collaborate with investigators or make denials. The notion that Jay-Z is attempting to shield himself ahead of time from comparable scrutiny is suggestive of a larger trend in the business regarding concerns about the possible fallout from Diddy's legal issues. The rumor that Jay-Z might be the next well-known person to come under scrutiny heightens the suspense and mistrust. Remarks from celebrities such as 50 Cent and YouTuber Storm feed the conversation about these incidents. Monroe draws attention to the way that both the public and insider responses to celebrity crises are characterized by a mixture of humiliating conjecture and sincere concern. While 50 Cent's some might view his constant trolling as a diversion from his own problems. Additionally, it keeps Jay-Z and Diddy in the public eye and feeds rumors about their whereabouts and romantic relationships the drama playing out with its array of legal suits. The entertainment industry appears to be at a pivotal stage, with long-standing practices and secrets coming under closer examination, despite public denials and insider rumors. The connected controversies and debates in public life surrounding 50 Cent Diddy and Jay-Z expose a convoluted network of contentious personal and professional ties. 50 Cent is now under investigation and criticism following the latest lawsuit against Diddy, which implicated Joy among other people, as well as the current charges against Daphne Joy. The contentious nature of their relationship is shown by 50 Cent's mocking reaction to the initial disclosures and his subsequent court moves surrounding his son's custody. While 50 Cent has been vocal about the scandals surrounding Diddy and Jay-Z, Joy's robust reaction on social media, which accuses 50 Cent of significant personal misbehavior, adds another layer of drama and disagreement, highlighting the extremely personal and public nature of these fights. Joy's charges against him imply that he might also be involved in comparable moral and ethical dilemmas. Her allusion to Diddy's children's horrific experiences during the raid and her denunciation of 50 Cent's purported behavior highlight the wider ramifications and individual expenses of these celebrity disputes. This complex situation, with its array of legal claims, social media conflicts, and public feuds are reflections of the highly publicized and combustible nature of conflicts in the entertainment industry, where personal lives, work relationships, and public perceptions are closely intertwined. As these stories develop, they shed light on the complexities of being a celebrity, as well as the difficulties of juggling notoriety, authority, and responsibility. The negative response to 50 Cent's remarks on Daphne Joy and their child highlights the fine line that must be drawn between one's private and public lives, particularly when one makes contentious remarks in public. Public figures are frequently the subject of intense scrutiny for both their motivations and their conduct. This is evidenced by the criticism he received for his harsh remarks and the rumors that he might be using Diddy and Jay-Z as a way to divert attention from his own problems. One of the main points of dispute is the idea of innocence until proven guilty. 
Secrets and the public's response to his behavior illustrate the intricate dynamics of celebrity culture, where personal conflicts and business rivalries frequently collide and manifest themselves in the public's perception of Jay-Z, resulting in criticism from the general public and negative social media sentiment. The public's response to 50 Cent's acts and the conjecture about his motives and possible secrets highlight the complicated dynamics of celebrity culture, where personal conflicts and business rivalries frequently collide and are expressed in the public's perception of Jay-Z. Many ideas about Diddy's motivations for avoiding the spotlight have been sparked by his quiet and lack of support. Some of them speculate that he might be attempting to shield himself from possible backlash or scrutiny. The conversations and speculations that surround these individuals emphasize the public's continued fascination with and suspicion of celebrity relationships and behavior, highlighting the difficulties in upholding one's reputation and privacy in the public spotlight.